I figured. Yeah. <laughs> now from the theater to your recliner, we're getting a breakdown of the most popular movies this weekend. Yeah, Renee is here live to tell us what's number one at the box office. Hey, Renee, happy Monday. Happy Monday, April 1st, April Fool's, Pitch Punch, <laughs> first of the month, rabbit, 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 we've covered it all. <laughs> Great, fantastic. Now that we've covered everything, how was the weekend? How was the box office? What's going on? All right, so it was all about Godzilla versus Kong. They crushed the competition at the box office this weekend, making over $80 million. And check this out, you guys. This was the sequel to the 2021 Godzilla vs. Kong and the fifth film in the MonsterVerse franchise, but also the 38th film in the Godzilla franchise wow. and the 13th film in the King Kong franchise. People love Godzilla and they love their King Kong. Wow. Ghostbusters was also at hitting theaters this weekend, right? It, it's already been out and it fell hard this weekend. We thought it was going to be number one. It fell really hard to second place with only 15 million after a great open. Um, you can see for yourself on the screen there. Oh, wow. Dune Part Two took third place. Uh, the animated comedy Kung Fu Panda, it's been out for a while, took fourth place. Uh, Sydney Sweeney's Immaculate, that is a horror movie, rounded off the top five. And you can see for yourself what people wanted to see at the box office over this Easter holiday weekend. Okay, Immaculate still in the top five. That is, uh, it's been holding on strong, right? It's been out for two weeks, and it also uh, made already double back its budget. Wow. Wow. All right. Look, I live under the rock when it comes under a rock when it comes to movies, and I've heard of Immaculate, so they're doing something right. <laughs> no, it, first of all, it's another horror movie with nuns in it, and it's in Italy. It's beautiful, but no, thank you, no, thank you. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sounds no. right up my alley. I'm with you. Okay, what about the <laughs> the accountant? So it was a weird weekend for streaming. So The Accountant is a movie from 2016 and it stars Ben Affleck. That was number one on, on Netflix, which was really, really weird. And then also Wonka from 2023, that was number one on uh, HBO Max. Number uh, four was Swifties, Eras, number one on Disney+. Plus. Uh, the number one movie for streaming this weekend, though, was a new movie that was released in March with Jake Gyllenhaal. And that was uh, Roadhouse, their reboot of Roadhouse. So that was the oh. number one movie. But it didn't do as well, didn't have as good numbers, get it, as The Accountant. Uh -huh. Very good, very good. <laughs> I didn't even know that they remade Roadhouse. So is, is Jake Gyllenhaal supposed to be Patrick Swayze? Yeah, and it came out. It was released in March 8th. So it was number one again this weekend. So, okay. Okay. All right. There you go. Interesting. You know, Renee, out of all of these segments we've done, I don't think I've ever seen a single movie you've ever said, but The Accountant. I've actually seen one. I feel like I can relate, From finally. 2016. From 2016. <laughs> Anna Kendrick's in it, right? You know what? You you made it number one this weekend, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> ben Affleck thanks you. <laughs> Just doing my part to contribute. Oh, my gosh. Do you have an update for us about Freaky Friday 2? So let me tell you something. We announced on the show weeks ago during an interview that Lindsay Lohan might have dropped some information about her and Jamie Lee Curtis getting together for uh, another Freaky Friday. But Disney, they were keeping their mouths tightly shut on this. Now we can say the number one trending movie story in Hollywood, actually in America right now, is the confirmation of Freaky Friday with the return of, of course, Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan. Now, we all knew it was coming, but we weren't getting that official go-ahead. There's no word on when it's going to start, but it is 100% confirmed, so get ready. That is so exciting. The original was obviously so much fun with the two of them. The reboots are the thing to do. We were just talking about Roadhouse, Freaky Friday too. We just heard um, John Tucker Must Die is coming back with a sequel from the with the original cast. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That, I'm, yes, yes, I'm, yes. But now, those, now, now, listen, those of us that are my age remember the original Freaky Friday. I know. But they're going to do a sequel to the Freaky Friday with Jamie Lee yes. and, um, and, and, and Lindsay uh, Lohan. Lindsay Lohan there. It's going to be, I, I mean, obviously, I know you and I, Kate, we talk about this all the time about her resurgence. And I'm just so happy. I think this is going to be the year for, for Lindsay, honestly. And I couldn't be happier for her. She looks fantastic. She just had a baby. Yes. And you've been talking for weeks about her Netflix hit. She had that Christmas movie, what, a couple of years ago, too, that did really well. But Irish Wish did extremely well. Like, knocked everything out of the park, right? It did for a few weeks, even last weekend. And then it still remained in the top 10 for this weekend as well. So 
Uh, she's got the luck of the Irish right now on her side. I think she does. <laughs> Good for her, though. She she went through a rough couple years, and yeah. she, she's got so much talent, though, and um, I think for all of us who grew up with her yeah. as as she grew she also grew up it's, right. it's we nice grew up to alongside. see her yeah yeah all right a absolutely now do you guys do i have to wrap because i have something but i can wait for tomorrow no, you've got time yep go ahead all right just want to tell you now on friday i was telling uh you guys about a new movie that was opening up with sean penn and mike tace in asphalt city it was released in theaters only they thought it was going to be a big hit it didn't even make <gasps> it it's yeah I think yeah. we're going to have Yikes. to let that come out on streaming, which I think will be sooner rather than later. Wow. <sighs> All right. Sean Penn, Sean, too. Sean Penn is not happy about this. Uh, no. He's I... kind of heard <laughs> spouting off about it. Yikes. I, I can imagine why. All right, Renee. We'll have to catch you back here for some more uh, hi pop piping hot tea tomorrow. <laughs> All the gossip. Bye, yeah. guys. Bye, Bye, Renee. Thanks, Renee.